Yeah, it was a great turnout from fans tonight. Obviously not the outcome that any of us were looking for, but people really showed up here in force. They went with the blackout, had so much excitement inside PNC Park this evening. Any way you slice it, there were a lot of characters inside, and people made, sh made sure they were in the seats. <laughs> there's talent, teamwork, <laughs> and then there's luck. It's worked four out of five times. Let's not talk about that fifth time. What exactly is it? Oh, this is good luck. It's an old pizza box? It's an old pizza box. Pilarski said he crossed the entire state to be at the Pirates wild card matchup Wednesday night. I just drove here from Trenton, New Jersey, driving back immediately after the game. Love my Pirates. Born and raised here. Like many fans that crossed the Clemente Bridge piling into PNC Park, the only option was to stand. I paid $160 to get in. No, fuck off! For standing room only. Others snagged a better deal. Yeah, about 10 minutes before the game, I got tickets for uh, 55 bucks. But the truth is, in Pittsburgh, playoff baseball is priceless. The best city to be in, the best game in the world, so it's fucked over. Even Cubs fans couldn't ignore the Buckos' crown. Oh, it's just electric. It's electric. We're staying in a room only paid 100 bucks a piece. Dan McCarty drove in with his son from Illinois, but said no matter who wins Wednesday night, he just wants the Cardinals to lose. I don't like the format. These two teams should not be playing a one-game series. Of course, wishing for a little Bucktober baseball magic and the help of his pizza box, Ryan held out hope until the end. It's good luck. You don't question good luck. You just question bad pitching. A lot of energy inside the park tonight. Now a bunch of disappointed fans filing out of PNC Park. But, hey, either way, 40,889 fans inside the ballpark tonight. That's a record. The most people to ever watch a game inside PNC Park. So that's a positive note for the Pirates who will hope to regroup in the offseason and start fresh next year in Bradenton, Florida, for spring training. Reporting live outside PNC Park, Bo Berman, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.